Hello folks. Welcome back again. This is Tiller Ranch. If you look closely, they haven't really done any damage on the pasture. Here they are, they uh, started following me. It's been raining here. Uh, so they, they really like the clover. They have gained weights already. Uh, after not feeding their uh, piglets for a week now. So they've been regaining their weights or body conditions. Just eating on clover alone. See that? Yeah, there is quite a bit here. The good thing about clover is that, you know, as they graze them, they uh, grew pretty, they would grow pretty quickly. So yeah, so they're slowly, they're gaining their body condition, as you can see, compared to uh, last week. And so, you know, the, the small ones I have, the second batch, uh, I have two that's sane. I would say sane because they haven't broken the electric fence. But I only have the red wattle. She's not a mom, she's a guilt. Uh, so she still have like a few more months before she can breed. This is my Berkshire boar cross. As you can see, they like eating clover. See that? Those two are my boar. Oh no, that's my, sorry. That's my barrel. That's my boar. And then that's my other boar. So it's been a week. Um, they like to uh, munch on the clover. See that? It's just quite a bit. And behind those clover, there's a lot, uh, there's a lot of grass, as you can see. And so as they trim those clover, then um, things will even out, grass will grow, and uh, clover will still grow. There's a lot of clover here. But this, this, this lady here, the one that didn't have, she's been digging some uprooting stuff. See that? So, I'm pretty sure they'll do quite a bit of damage as you can see here over time, but not currently. But, um, You know, for all those uh, things that they've been digging, I could always replace them with seeds, um, with a mixture of seeds. And I think that would be good also because as they till this place, um, I think it would be better uh, for next year. So we will see. And uh, one of the good thing that, sorry, one of the good thing that they're doing is they're making little ponds. So they would um, capture some water here. That's my boar. Yeah, the boar are pretty good uh, looking. Uh, they keep their body condition pretty good. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that um, the mothers, the saw, are gaining their body condition, as you can see. Um, it's been raining here, 
Uh, for the last two days, everything is wet as you can see. And so they're easily able to dig the pasture deeper than they used to. But it would be interesting uh, what would happen, but they dig quite a bit in the, uh, on the uh, fallen oak trees right behind it and some over there. So we'll see. Um, yeah, they're they're messing up the pasture in a way. It seems like they're out of um, some acorn there because they really haven't done uh, anything. They go back and forth, and when I see them, they're more they're mo they're mostly here eating grass and digging stuff and so one thing I've noticed is they don't dig through the clover but they dig uh, over the grass and so I guess you know they're looking for something else besides the grass well if they keep doing this by by the time you know it I won't be able to have any uh, grass pretty soon because everything is turned over and uh, we will see so my plan is um, I'll be planting uh, a mixtures of sor sorghum sedan uh, some clover and so forth and some uh, annual ryegrass because this native grass they'll come back I, I Killed this quite a few times already and they will come back on their own no issue and so I, I do know what would happen and especially when you know they have all this manure scattering all over the place I think this will help the land improve even further than what is currently is and so it, it's been it's been good in a way having to have uh, animals over here. I can tell you the difference between what pasture looks like before animals and what pasture looks like that doesn't have that doesn't have animals. Look at that one. That's an open field, and that's the boundary of my fence. And compared to the grass I have. It's all green and over there it's just it's all dry and still you know it's, it's it's a barren land and that's what it looks like when I got this land see that I can walk all, all the way there but you can see the difference already the contrast and so as I put animals in here and as they dug through it they will improve the land and hopefully like I said they'll scatter their manure and as I mentioned before it seems like um, sometimes it's not easy to hear me but all those manures urine they're a pretty good source of uh, nitrogen because of the urea you know they have you know the urine special urine I mean, that's full of urea that converts into nitrogen. And so I'm counting on those and my piglets are already trained getting inside the trailer. And so I'm kind of glad about that. I, I, it's been a week. So we'll have one more week and they're already trained on electric fence too. So I think that's, that's a good sign. So folks, um, let me go to that corner and see what's going on. I'm pretty sure they have uh, dug through that area too, but I think mostly they have dug through uh, those places. So we'll see, I'll be right back. And I don't want you to be like getting dizzy walking through. Okay, bye.
Before I go... Uh, that's what they're eating. So... They really like the clover with grass and... Um, hopefully, you know, those... You know, once we have like... Uh, you know, once the sun rises again, because it's been cloudy for the past week, I think as they clip this clover, they'll grow pretty quickly. And I can rotate them once they're done here, but we shall see. We shall see. Okay, I'll be right back. So, uh, they dug through this area underneath the oak. Seems like they're lagging. Uh, they're lagging close by. First time I've seen it. And so they dug some of it there, but they dug more towards where the oaks have fallen. It's been a century of oaks. Now it's uh, finally broke. It can't support itself anymore. And all my trees, oaks, they're turning yellow, orange. And all the brown ones, as you can see, all my trees are dying. It's just such a waste. I wish I have some, you know, things to really cut them. But even if I cut them and leave them as is, then mushroom will grow in them quick, very quickly. Because it's pretty wet now. Uh, let me write back. I'll be right back. So this is my fallen oak tree. That's a beautiful view. Let me take some picture here. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, they have done quite a bit of work here. I'm sure they were digging some past uh, acorn. I dug uh, this uh, little pond here initially to capture some water, but it doesn't really get full or full. It doesn't really get full, but it helps uh, retaining the water and it also help, you know, for the water to sip down through, uh, you know, underneath the uh, soil. And so it, it helps the land quite a bit. But they have dig to some of this area. They seem to have nipped all the all the clover here. So that's where their um, protein is coming from. Protein, most of them have a very good source of protein. Well, it seems like they have done quite a bit of work in that area as well. That they haven't dug through the fences, you know, but you can see where the browns are, and then you can see where my electric fence divider and they haven't crossed it. I don't see any 
watching me digging across that fence. And there goes my goats that can just jump off of those because they're just a foot high. Well, it's starting, it's starting to rain, folks. And in that area, I'm pretty sure the rain is really pouring, as you can see. That's what it looks like when things are going down. So let me end the video here and let's check uh, on the piglets. And, go, and then go from there. Okay, bye. Last year, I didn't do anything in this area. But if you look closely, they have turned the soil here, all the debris, even next to the fence line there, the electric fence you can see. See that, the white lines. So that's my fence. And also I've been cutting here slowly, trying to create uh, some spacing on my white oaks. Um, I'm pretty sure those will be gone, especially when they're not straight. I've been keeping the trees that are a bit straight. And so there's quite a bit of firewoods here, but it's unfortunate that I don't use firewood on our house. Well. On some occasion maybe but mostly heater but uh, I want them to dig more here because there's quite a bit of honeysuckle which my cows love it anyway but I think as they cultivate this land they would expose this uh, they would expose the soil here and it would be perfect for spring next year to spread some seeds and see what would grow here so I spread some uh, piece of corn here and so as you can see they're digging through it already so I'm sure they're gonna have some more some more work here and expose all this uh, barren land where there's too much of a uh, debris, uh, full of, as you can see, full of roots. Yeah, I think those are honeysuckle roots, and 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 see, they're exposing all those, all those area. They're clearing things up, and hopefully. Uh, <clears throat> We would see a lot of differences next year. And so I'm hoping that next year too I would have more acorn uh, as I thin this area. See that see that? It's like I've been spacing them out slowly just to make sure I have the right balance. I don't wanna keep cutting my trees because these trees are valuable in a, in a way to attract wildlife, especially birds. And we also have some endangered pigeons in this area. Uh, they usually hang in this area, eat my drone and so forth. Uh, look at it. This is the place where they dug last year. All clover are growing. Those are all clover. But I don't have much grass. See that? So they did quite a bit, quite a bit of work up there but not to my liking yet. So we will see uh, this year and see what they can do. But look, 
compared to last year, it's like, it's like all this, all these places, it's full of leaves and the ground weren't exposed. And so everything is barren. And look, they turned this into a pasture, a server pasture. So a little bit of work burning some of this wood that are laying here and cl clearing a little bit more like cutting some of this oaks that are unproductive and hopefully that would create some life for the older trees and get more and get more moisture because they get so dry over here. Uh, if you can hear the rain, that's the rain you're hearing. Yeah, see so I still have quite a bit of uh, trees to cut here and it's pretty cold here too. I mean look. They have cleared this area and now the grass is growing slowly. And here uh, they did quite a bit of work also and so yeah as I clear the as I clear some of this oaks I think that this would be like a savanna uh, area where it's gonna be a uh, pretty good server pasture in the future but unfortunately sometimes you know things change with plants but uh, the pigs has really helped the land uh, quite a bit. I still have quite a bit of oaks that I need to cut there to make uh, you know, a balanced spacing. But we'll see. I'm running out of time today. Um, and hopefully in the next couple of weeks or so, I could do some work here, cut a little bit and just leave them there to dry out and then go from there. So now uh, let me end the video here. I thought I could show you this, what they have done. And so they're exposing the soil uh, slowly and they're converting those leaves into carbon. So I'll end the video here and let's check on the piglets. Or maybe we'll just do that next uh, next time. We shall see. Okay, I'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. The piglets are really, really doing good. As you can see, they are pretty, pretty fat. Excuse my friends there, but they look really, really good. Uh, they're really really full and it seems like they don't stop eating and uh, it's pretty wet as you can see it started uh, raining and my shoes is pretty wet I forgot to change my boots and so and so here we are the piglets uh, the piglets already knows how to get into the trailer this is where they're staying i put a tarp and so this is their uh, temporary shelter until they are trained uh, it's not easy to see them but look so they all stay in this area Everyone is getting friendly as well, but they're pretty, pretty cool. And um, so this giving, this tarp is giving them some pretty good shelter and pretty dry in a way, except that when they go out, then it becomes a little bit wetter, as you can see. So this guy's. This chickens, this is what we hatch. So this, uh, this guy's already pretty big, and seems like most of it are roosters. 
um, we haven't, you know, I've, you know, since my previous videos, since my previous videos, we've eaten only one uh, rooster. So we'll see once I get home, maybe. Um, but yeah, see so they're tiptoeing because it's pretty wet. So my rambunctious uh, pigs are over here and I feel like I'm gonna slaughter them next week. We, we shall see because I need to separate my boar and my barrows and put them here. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do next time when I have enough time to separate them. But I, I thought I could show you the update here which uh, the piglets are doing fine on their own. So they've been weaned for a week now. They don't need, they don't need their, their, oh, I guess they haven't been looking for their parents. I mean, they look at them, but they just ignore them. And so they're independent now and they're eating pretty good. And also I did another, whatchamacallit? deworm them and hopefully that will do it for this year and yeah it seems like it was weird because after dewar deworming them from last week they've gotten weight all of a sudden so it means you know I guess it worked um, I put up three 150 pounds of bag last week and this week I'm putting up 200 pounds uh, based on what I have you know calculated and from what they're eating per day uh, they're eating two and a half pounds of bag and so And so they're eating quite a bit now. Uh, they're a little bit um, freezing. They're shaking a little bit, but then you know they um, usually warm up, warmed up as soon as they get into the trailer, as you can see, because uh, it's pretty cold here. But folks, um, everything is too wet here. Uh, my pasture is still in in good shape in a way. I'm sure they're gonna start uh, digging some of those areas. But they had been digging in that area, which I've shown on this video. And I have not restricted them, but maybe once I get some water, I just saw that you know, the pond I have over there, it's filling up, so I guess that's the good news. Uh, a couple more rain, a couple more days. I think we're gonna have rain until Wednesday. And that would fill up um, the pond, some water, and that would be enough for them to drink. And hopefully they can seal that pond too because it's leaking. Um, I can't wait to see when this thing is full and see whether they have sealed the pond because it's, it's leaking from the middle. So we shall see. But uh, this guys, mostly they've been eating grass and um, acorn. Uh, they have done a lot of digging in this area. And it's quite amazing how they're maintaining their body weight, which is pretty good. But unfortunately, I can't keep them because they keep breaking my electric fence. And as you know, uh, once they start teaching the others, then it would be a disaster. Then I need to get rid of all of them. And so, the good thing is, I've been able to feed them separately without any issue because I have a door there for them. So they're the only one who uh, are able to get into that uh, 
hole there they can uh, they're pretty strong so what they do is they get in there and they're able to lift a little bit of that uh, fence and uh, they're pretty good so this week I've given them some feeds uh, because if I decided to slaughter them next week then I would like them to have a little bit fat on them and so as you can see my chicken are number one who's eating the feeds and whatever is left there they usually eat it also and that includes my duck so it's been good so far uh, all this symbiotic relationship between pigs my goats and my chickens uh, they do a lot you know, my chickens do a lot of cleanup and at the same time they're spreading their manure and their manure all over the place so next week hopefully I'll be putting my piglets in this area and they'll start eating grass because that's what they love so we shall see but for now um, they are here and I am 100% they are trained on the electric fence because they haven't really gotten out or they never attempted to get out uh, compared to before so that's a really good news in a way so folks uh, I'm really really cold now it's freezing uh, perhaps next time I'll give you another update maybe in the next week or two we shall see maybe in the next two weeks um, and give you an update to what they're doing above this land and see if they start clearing stuff up so i'll end the uh, video here and hopefully you like the video if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate if you subscribe that would really help me out until then, I'll catch you later. Okay, bye.